They want me to do this again, another 3D brawler mini game. There's three opponents, so let me get started. Here we go. It was easy enough the first time. Dodge that, even though I dodged it early, doesn't matter. Now hit that right arm. Oh yeah. Now I'll dodge to the right. Easy work. Hit the left arm. Dodge one more time. Come on then. Oh, I actually hit the wrong button, my bad. It had to be the left side. I forgot. <laughs> it's just so unnatural to see somebody drop their defense and then that's the side. The opposite side is the side you want to go to. That's tough. Gotcha. One more hit and you're done. Another dodge. And now I got that. And there it is. Limit breaker. Get him up out of here. With the KO, now I throw out a three-piece combo to end the fight. Second opponent. Let's get it. He's rocking. It could be tough to see the animation. Oh! Okay, so when he leans back, I got to go up. Okay, here we go. Up. I dodged it. Hey, we know what you're doing now. Left hook. Okay, now he's going back on this side. Dodge that. Hey, okay, we figured this out. Oh, wait, he's going to do it again. Ooh, he tried the Superman punch. Wow. And I can only throw a one piece combo. That is some cheese. And now that's a left. Wow, because it's been an uppercut every time. Okay, that one's going to be that one. Dodge that like a boss crossover moves. Got him leaning. Oh, that one's to the left. I keep forgetting because he's got so many. Moves. Okay, wait. Oh, wait. Now that one was up. I messed up. Oh, wait a second. Got him up out of there, though. I clutched it. Let's go. Sit down. Get down to the ground. This is such a tough fight. So many different moves and combos and rage. Dodge the first one. Here goes the second attack. Dodge the second attack. No third attack. Let's go. Nice. Pay attention to the animation. I moved out of the way. Looking like Mayweather, baby. Oh, can't hit me. What to do, baby? Oh, here goes another one. Oh, another dodge. Let's go. Can I finally hit? Let's go. I had to dodge three times. Oh, wait, what is this? Ooh, that's rage inducing. Oh, that one was down. That's tough. So many moves. Oh, that one's up. So they got a down and an up dodge. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I dodged that one. How many strikes was that? I had to watch hella strike. Oh, here goes the rage again. That's actually easy because this is left, right, left, right. Whenever he rages, he only goes left. Oh, look, he's tired. He's gassed. Get him up out of there. Hit him twice. Do a one, two. Oh. Here goes again. Okay, that one's just straight. And now will he throw another strike? No, he won't. That's it. Got him. Got him up out of there. Mini game is done. You know the rules. Get down to the ground. Ain't playing around. Got your deck in order. I can never say no to some Queen's Blood action. They got a lot of these matches. So here's my deck. I'm ready to let it fly. And I might as well lay this down right there. See, now I have different. That's not even my card. That's a different card. That's a different version of the card. That's very interesting. So let me lay this down in the middle or actually we'll go top because then I get a three in the middle. So now my next move can be the three. So he's trying to go bottom row, but now I shut off the bottom row. So I'm, I'm going to win this because I lay anything down there. I win that unless. OK, now they're going to try to make a move. And I think I need to. Yeah, let me cut this off right here. That makes a lot of sense because now I've got the middle row under control and the bottom. And he's going to try to make a move. Actually, no. So he made a mistake because he doesn't have anything that goes 
forward. That was a bad placement. So now I'm really going to lock down. Or actually, he does have eight in the middle slot. So let me finally lay something down here. I've got 10. So now does he have a plus two for a one there? Okay, he's going to try to power it up to make that happen. I'm going to go bottom row. I got a 12 and a 10. Let's see what happens here. And that's only a plus one. I am now the winner, but I'm getting greedy out here. Why not? Oh, look at that cheese. Not only did I create another spot for me, but I raised the level on the bottom. That was some cheese. I'm just going to end it now because if they have any type of replacement or just, I don't know, they got crazy cards in this game. Once it's over, just, oh, I got a 40 score though. Okay. Let's get it. First move is my favorite move. And now I have some more new cards that are just in my deck out of nowhere. And I will go ahead and move to the bottom. Because if I start building on that bottom row, it's going to be over because I'm going to get the plus three or the plus two, whatever. So now I have a plus three on the bottom. Let's go top. Shut that off up there to make sure I win that top row. Force him to go. Oh, no, he's going to go right there. Okay, interesting. So let me make an advance. And actually, let me take over the middle. If I put this there, I cut that off in the middle. Nice. Probably going to go bottom. He does. But now I can shut off that right there. So I place my card here on the bottom. Now I take away the bottom row because I let mine go right there. So I'm going to win because I've got two rows. I'm going to win this. You can have the middle row. And if I put this there, look at that. I'm getting hella boost. So why not do that? And now the only spot that he can go is in that bottom right. Doesn't win the right. That's it. I win. I don't really have to make another move. I can end this game right here, right now. And I'm going to do that. Not going to take any chances. He can't move. Does he have any other card? No cheese cards. So that's going to do it. Another win is in the bag. There's so many games in this section. So I'm ready to get on to the next one. Let's get it. Another card added to the collection. I had to create a new deck because for this game, I'm going from the right side of the board to the left and I didn't have any cards going left. So this is a very interesting twist. So now we're going in reverse. I have to have cards that see. That's what I did. I made a new deck. These cards are going to go in advance to the left so I can actually win this. So let me lay this down right here. Oh, that card is hella glitchy. Look at all the spots I just opened up. Ooh, he took it right back, though. So I'm going to take this top row or maybe I should take. Yeah, we'll take the top row. Make that a plus three in the back. Uh Oh, bottom's in trouble. So now I am going to, oh, look at that. Oh, wait a second. Oh, that's hella glitchy. That card opens up on the bottom left. What's that about? Okay, why didn't they go and close off? So he made a mistake. He should have closed off this bottom right by going there. He went to that other spot. Now I have a chance. I have a possibility here. And even though I'm making my moves on the right, my score is on the left. So that is a little bit confusing, but I am winning the top row. And now if I lay down something in the middle, plus two up top. So I've got a 14 up top. I think I win actually. I am going to win this. I don't really have to make a move, but let me just go here. Win two rows. Now it's over for sure. That was a glitchy Queen's Blood game. Look at this score. I am dominating. So now I got two decks. I got a left facing deck and then the regular deck. That's why they give you five decks because you never know what type of cheese they're about to have because they have so many different cards in this game. All this stuff that it does, it raises this level. It takes away that card. So the other three are not unlocked for now. I would have played them. That would have been fun. I've done all the mini games. It's finally time for the Skywheel. 
keep this date moving. Welcome to Couples Hour at Skywheel Square. Cuddle up with a partner in our cozy gondolas and see our golden paradise in a whole new light. Escape the crowds, share a private moment together, and experience dazzling sights and sounds. The memories you make here are sure to last a lifetime. Fun, huh? <laughs> What's going on? I I don't know. Your attention, please. We are currently experiencing some minor technical difficulties. While our technicians are working hard to resolve this issue, for your safety, we ask that you follow all staff instructions. Over here, folks. Our friendly cast members will show you the way. Thank you so much for understanding, and have a wonderful day. Cloud, we've got trouble. Is that a cat? What is it? Get to the Coliseum, on the double. Because between you and me, there's been a wee shooting in the lobby over there. And the word around the saucer is that a man with a gun for an arm was the perpetrator. I'll round up your pals for you, all right? Now get going. There's not a moment to lose. This has to be a mistake. Let's go find out. Of course the splash date would be interrupted. Of course. Somebody doesn't want me to make it splash. I'm sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Ring, ring. No, uh, excuse me. Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay, please. That cat is just hacking everything. Somebody's jealous that I was going to have fun with Tifa's mangoes, and then this happened. That's what it is. That's what it really is. Oh, damn. Okay. But why did Barrett... It seems like he knows what's going on here. Who is this person? We know it's not Barrett that did this. It's like I told you. Someone went on a rampage. And now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? Hmm. A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. 
He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen, with an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... a gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Quick as you like. I don't know what I think about this twist. We're following the cat again. What if the cat is setting us up because it's all very convenient isn't it we didn't have a hotel room gets us the hotel room and now leading us over here who knows maybe it's the reward maybe it's the money they're after does this cat like money The place we're headed is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the gold saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians, and ne'er do wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically, another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Mug, maim, murder, it's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. I got some straight killers with me, so it's whatever. Doesn't matter who's in this party. Obviously, I got my favorites, but everybody's leveled up. Everybody's ready for prime time. What I need to do is I need to get two sets of materials so that I could have two sets of the party with identical setups. The only problem is some of the material, I only have one of them. I need two to make it happen. That would be nice. 
Hmm? Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. I'm ready for this XP. Looks like humans. Looks like a bunch of bums. They ain't ready for this. We got magic. We got materia. We got all these tricks. Let's get it. Welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? Uh, Merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. But which <laughs> one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? Dumbass. I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, why do you think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, man. hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key, out in the middle of the drills. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? That little something being a load of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn God guilt. <sighs> so yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. <laughs> I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your piggies. Well, help us out, Paul. Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of them. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say there are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. <laughs> hmm. Can put a price on anything. Trick. Ah, uh ah, -uh. that's Gus to you. Ooh. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Ooh. Ah, yeah. Later. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> no need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. Gus has a thing for I have a hard time believing this. All this magic and power that we possess, and we got locked up like that. Come on, cuh. That's right. You just follow me. Or run for it. Go on. See how far you get. Whose weapon is this? 
a blade. It's got to be for me. So I've got the new blade on because I do need to get that ability unlocked so I can use it on any weapon. I like how the Buster Sword looks. It might not have the best stats. Some of the other ones have better stats and maybe even better abilities or weapon skills or whatever. Up that bird of yours. Yo, Roger New Champ. Hmm. He's all yours. So you're Cloud the <laughs> Merc. Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrinky. I'm Esther, Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Oh, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny... Grateful little piece of so you want me to race Pico? In a fryer. <laughs> the one and only. In that state, our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. <sighs> Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Mr. Gus presents the one, the only, Desert Rush. For a limited time only. If you earn the high score, you'll get some rare greens. Step right up and give it a try. Another mini game. They got us on a vacation when we're in prison. Can you believe it? Gearbox activated with the quickness. I'm letting it fly. Gotta do this quickly. Triple slash for the win. Let me get all these points, all these 50s. Now let's go. Oh, I just missed. That was terrible aim. How did I miss that? Come on, Carl, do the triple slash. Okay, the triple slash has been landing. So maybe that's the only thing I need to do for this. Just to make sure I hit what I'm trying to hit. A lot of stuff is going on. Okay, here goes the next one. Slice and dice. Let's go. Two down, two to go. Hit all these boxes. Get this score up there. I don't want to have to do this again. Get it done right now. Slash that up. Let's go. And they're playing some death metal music for this. That is hilarious. They got a ton of music in this game, don't they? They got all kinds of music. Oh, yeah. Plus 10 seconds. Make it quick. Let's go. Keep that timer high. Let's go up. Let's go up a level. Why not? I'm letting it fly. Here's the third one. And there's another clock. More time. Gotta mess this up. Oh yeah, get another plus 10. Let's get it. Now let's go back down. I'm slicing. Oh, I gotta wait. You can't jump off this platform. Come on, cuz. I know you could jump off that platform. Okay, let me triple slash. Oh yeah, yeah. Another plus five to the time. Here we go. I'm slicing and dicing. Going crazy on these boxes. The next target score is 30. And I'm guessing that's rank three, right? Because the first one was 15. Now, or actually, maybe there's another one. Maybe that's only this. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it is the second one. Because look, 15,000, 30,000. So there's got to be another level in here. For rank three. Let's get it. Let's get it. One minute left. Shot clock. Cheese. 
Triple slash again. Oh, there's a 42,000. I've got a minute to make it happen. Let's get it. Turn on the Jets. Three more of these. Let me go ahead and get this 1,500, though. A slicing and dicing that up. Clock is not my friend. Added another five seconds. But I'm still in need. I need 8,000 more. Let's go. Where them boxes at? Okay, let's see what this is going to amount to. These are only 50. Okay, I'm at 36,000. Let me get that time back. Plus 10 seconds. 45 seconds. This is looking like it's going to be some shot clock cheese. I'm going as fast as I can. We got to go up again. Do I have time to go up? Another five seconds added. I'm button mashing like a boss. Oh, you can't jump up on that? Oh, now you can jump up there. Wow. Imagine if I didn't have that ATV bar. Would I have been stuck? Now, that would be crazy. 39,000. I need 3,000 more. These three should do it. These three should do it. 44,000. Let's get it. That was very interesting. What a mini game. That was actually quite fun. Great job out there. Got some greens for you, as promised. My songs, He Quit the Game, Lob City, and My Camo are now available on all streaming platforms. We've got the Chiefs in Super Bowl 59. It is a one-on-one. -on -one. Why not let it fly over the top? McLaurin, touchdown. He's got the defense leaning. He turned on the Jets. They took a dive. 